This is from Madeline. One of the big things that I get is, is there are people who uh, I've had, literally, there's still more that's come in that I've not read, but I try to space them apart. People are really, uh, there is a, a level of rage about what goes on with a hamburger in this country. And there's a level of rage about pickles that is staggering um, and should be looked into by mental health people everywhere. And this is from Madeline. I don't know if you saw this when I put it on your Facebook page, uh, so here it is. I don't, Madeline, just know this, I don't fucking go, oh boy, what did they put on my Facebook page? Because generally, one out of every three is, God damn it, you're a piece of shit, you fucking asshole, fuck you. <laughs> and that, but now I know it's just a Russian, and so what else is new? <laughs> but then my family came from Russia, and I go, why are you bothering me? Get out the other people. We came from there, you fuck. Well, Lewis, I would like to know why, when I ask for a hamburger, it has cheese on it. When did a hamburger become a cheeseburger? Fuck! If I wanted a cheeseburger, I would ask for a cheeseburger. <laughs> Between the cheese and the disgusting pickles, I'm discouraged. <laughs> if I wanted cheese, I'll ask for it. If I want pickles, I'll ask for it. Stop assuming, fuckers! I hate going into diners anymore. The waiters all look like they understand your order, but no, the assholes still come with cheese on my hamburger and a fucking pickle next to my bread. Green nasty juice next to my bread. Why? Why, fuckers? Why is there so much cheese and pickles in this world that you have to push that shit on me? Uh, I say, take that pickle, wrap some cheese around it, and shove it up your ass. Well, I mean, that's, you gotta realize, that's pretty intense for... And it makes you wonder how many times the, this poor woman's been fucked over with cheese and pickles. That they kind of wait around, they go, here she comes. Let's get her, let's get her with the cheese! The other day I was served a pickle that was neither sweet nor dill. What am I supposed to do with that? Was it a sour pickle, fuck nut? It's a half sour pickle, which is different from dill. Was it a cinnamon pickle? Did they serve it to you for dessert? I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. God damn it, you should have taken the pickle and just heaved it across the room. Said, fuck you, fuck you, this is neither sweet nor dill. I can't take this shit anymore. What has my life come to? If it was a sour pickle and you didn't need it, you're a fucking moron. Those are great pickles, but you may need to be genetically Jewish to fucking keep it down. No, you guys like dill, fuck dill. No, it's sour, sour! I'll start this by saying I love pickles. I love all pickles, every pickle. You can pickle fucking anything and I will fucking eat that pickle. Why? Because my mother couldn't make a turkey. That's why. Let's start by mentioning that this just happened at dinner right before coming to your show. It's nothing new, though, because it happens every time, every fucking time. Whenever I ask for no pickle, whether on the sandwich, on the plate, or what have you, you better believe every single time there's a fucking pickle ruining my food. No matter how much the service acknowledges my pickle hate, emphasizes their understanding of my request, that pickle is always fucking there, getting its liquidy pickle-flavored nastiness all over my food. The worst is when the bread is on the plate and the above-mentioned nasty jupe seeps into the bread, making it not only disgusting, but fucking soggy, too. This is a real issue that we face as a nation. I hope President Trump makes it a top priority. This is from David. I can't help but notice there are a lot of people bitching about pickles. I get a lot of, a lot of the rants that come are about pickles. <laughs> it, pickles really have a tendency to send people fucking <laughs> screaming into the night. Pickles, you wanna know what I think about pickles and the pissy little ass pickers and their pickles? They can take those pickles, wrap them around their dicks and suck them until their mouths fill with the sour brine. Oh yeah, hang on, it just gets worse. 
Pickles aren't the problem. And that's, he just said that, and they're not the problem. <laughs> relish is the problem. Pickles I get, but relish? Who the fuck needs the cousin of a condiment so vile that it looks like something you use to teach about the shortcomings of herpes? <laughs> That's good. And if you didn't like it, you're a crybaby. <laughs> relish, a mucusy puddle of pureed pickle shit sprinkled with the spice of Satan's loins. I watch people slop that shit on hot dogs and it makes me want to slip rat traps in their shoes. <laughs> Heinz has the balls to bottle and sell this shit as if we don't know what they're up to. Listen, if you want to take something as tasty as a hamburger and make it turn it, and make, and turn it into the leavings of a snuff film, simply lift up the bun and take a healthy shit atop of a flame broiled patty and press it back down really hard. Yep, because I'd rather eat human feces than shovel that gooey, coagulated spunk into my suck hole ever again. <laughs> Fuck the creators of relish. I hope there is a, a place in hell reserved for slow roasting their nuts until relish oozes from their assholes. <laughs> I can't do the next four lines. No, I can't. Seriously. One of them would remind you of Roe versus Wade, and that would be too disturbing. Yeah, see, there you go. Say you can't whine, fuckers. I protected you from it. Okay? So shut the fuck up. No. I'm not going to do it after they whine before I even got to it. So fuck your pickles. And fuck relish. God, you really upset me. This is from Benjamin. <laughs> As a Jew, I was deeply saddened when I heard, <laughs> I heard there is such a thing as a quick pickle. <laughs> which, I don't know if you got this right, Benjamin, which is the equivalent of a half sour. The half sour pickle. I, I've never heard of that, uh, Benjamin. A quick pickle. That really sounds kind of like a little dirty. I went out and I just had a quick pickle. <laughs> I feel like, and then he gets upset. I feel like non Jews plagiarized and stole our idea without giving us credit. Um, I, I, there are other things to worry about, Benjamin. <laughs> I'm just glad. I had a, there was a part of my family that um, the, the, uh, one of my father's uh, cousins was, in, one, a close cousin was in the uh, appetizing, appetizer trade, and he had barrels of those half-sour pickles, and I'm, I'm glad he's passed on and didn't have to hear about the quick pickle. <laughs> Stephanie wrote him, why is it that a burger costs a dollar and a red pepper costs a dollar 78? I don't know where you fucking live, Stephanie, but I think that, that you are paying way too fucking much for the red pepper. And I'm, I would check to see what, what that meat is. She said, I did see a deal, five cucumbers for five dollars. Who the fuck wants to eat that much cucumber? You're right about that. But there's people who buy it and then they turn it into pickles. And when they do turn it into pickles, and then they put it on the plates of customers, and then I get, I have, one of the, the, the most extraordinary things about doing these rants is the fact that I've had at least now seven um, of the, uh, of the thing, of seven rants that have come in about pickles. And how much people really, there's five that people just fucking, det they detest pickles and can't say enough. It's like, the, it's literally as if someone had come in and tried to kill their family. <laughs> with pickles, with pickles, as if they were slapping them. It's as if the waitress came up and took the pickle and said, eat it. This is from Dave Andrews. This is the fourth, fourth. Uh, over the course of 250 episodes of this, about pickles. 
Each one has been just as angry and vilifies Pickles, but totally for different reasons. And I really want to thank Dave for coming up with his own. Why in the sweet, sweet love of fuck would you put a goddamn pickle on a fucking cheeseburger without at least warning the poor cocksucker before he bites into it? <laughs> <coughs> fuck. There's not a better way to fuck up a burger than to add a piece of green rubber that tastes like something that just fell out of a dog's ass. <laughs> when I order a fucking cheeseburger, then just give me a cheeseburger, asshole, and shove those pickles where they should be. Up your ass! <laughs> You don't see them fucking up french fries by adding shit to them unless you're Canadian and those dumb bastards put cheese and gravy on their fries and call them poutine. But at least they let you know up front before you eat the fucking things. Thanks a lot, guys. You've been tremendous. Good night.